the long fader path. Normally the tape return signal, that is the signal coming back from your recording device, will feed the long fader signal path. When the flip switch is pressed, it will feed the short fader signal path. Your long fader will then become the channel path input. The pan control pans the long fader across the stereo mix bus. The mix switch assigns the long fader to the stereo mix bus. This is the normal operating position for the fader. This is the plus 10 dB mark. The fader is fully open at this point and introduces a gain of 10 dB into the signal path. 